How to use the key value element in Vantage Advanced Designer. I will show how to locate data proximate to a keyword using the key value element. I will start by creating a skill called key value. Next, I will upload a document. Once that document is uploaded, I can click on the I icon to review the document. I wish to capture contract number, input date, and last name. I can now define my fields. I'll click on Fields and Structure. And I'll create a first field, contract number, and then I will create a second field, input date, and finally a third field, and that will be last name. Once that's done, I can click on activities, select the extraction rules activity, and then I can click on the activity editor. I confirm that my three field names exist and I will temporarily disable the first two. Then I will switch to search elements and I see my three fields. By default, they were created as character string elements. I cannot convert character string elements to key value elements, so I will delete all three fields. And I will create a new key value element and call it contract number. In the text to find field, I will enter contract number, period, colon. I will not search for a gap. I will keep the default position relative to the key, and that is looking to the right of the key. I can search for any text, or I can refine my search to look for a specific type of data, such as a number, or a date, or an amount of money. I'll come back to this list later and keep the default any text selection. I will click match and view my results in the hypothesis tree. When I double click on the green dot, I am moved to a lower level where I have two more green dots. The first green dot will show where I matched my key and the second will show where I matched the value adjacent to the key. I will search for last name next. I will create another key value element called last name. My search string will be last name. I will again not search for a gap and this time I will specify a position not to the right of the key but rather below the key. That's where my data is to be found and I'll keep the default type of any text. I will click Match and take a quick look at my results. First, I click on Contract Number and see my data, then I click on Last Name. Drilling down, I can see where I captured the key Last Name and below that, the actual last name Slack, right there. To capture the input date, I will create another key value element named Input Date. I'll do something a bit different this time. Instead of putting in the keyword input date, I'll just put in the word input. That could put me at risk for capturing the word date as my value, but there's a trick that will prevent this from happening. I will skip searching for the gap. I will look to the right of my key. And in the value type field, I will specify date instead of any text. I will specify the format month, day, year. And I have the option of specifying a date range, but I will leave the default values. I could also specify a search area, but keep in mind that the search area is specific to finding the keyword. I'll leave it default and search the entire document for my keyword. 
Once again, I will click Match to see my results. I'll click on Contract Number, Last Name, and when I open up Input Date, the word Input was matched, the word Date was skipped, and I matched the January 5th 2021 date as the found value. If I had kept the default any text, I would have incorrectly captured the word date. I will temporarily create one last key value element to look at some of the value type choices. There is any text and allowed values where you could put in a list of strings that you know you want to match. I can specify number, amount of money, date, or phone number, so the key value element will look specifically for data of these formats. Last on the list is character string, which has a few powerful embedded options. The first option, called alphabets, allows me to specify and then match strings that comport with the alphabet values I selected. For instance, if I were searching for email addresses, I might include the period and the at sign. The second option, called regular expression, allows me to specify a regular expression that would match the data that I'm searching for. Here I can use the regular expression editor to build a regular expression and, of course, wildcards can be embedded in my regular expression to expand its search capabilities. I will delete this key value element. Next, I will go to my fields and map my contract number field to a search element. I will enable the input date field and map it. And the same for the last name field. To wrap up, I can click on the name of the skill, then in the pipeline, I can click Publish. This will allow me to test, then use this skill directly in Vantage. 